Now, there are certain challenges in golf that should just not be attempted. Certain challenges which require exquisite ball striking, impeccable course management, such as an old school ping one iron challenge on the final three holes here at Bentham Golf Club in the Yorkshire Dales. Well, that is exactly what we are doing today. And I'm looking forward to this in a strange, very odd way. We're going to tee it high, watch it fly. This thing has loads of offset, a mega, mega thin top line. I've been in the studio back at home at Woolley testing this. And fair to say, it wasn't great. So, I love that one though. How is it going to go today? I'll tell you one thing, that's a fair way on the opening hole. Yes, please. Guys, as you can imagine, I don't really know that much about this old school ping one iron. It does look incredible. It looks very freakish. I'm not sure anyone would have it in the bag in the modern day. So comment below, what am I gonna score on the final three holes here at Bentham Golf Club using this? We've got a par four, par three, par four. Must admit, I'm slightly worried about the par three. Hmm. So as you can imagine, a challenge like this one, I do face a number of problems, of which I'll let you into them now. Problem one, the loft. This club doesn't have a lot of loft on it. It is going to be incredibly difficult to play those shorter shots. And by shorter shots, I mean anything from 230 yards inwards, which is going to be most of the shots. What is a good score on these final three holes? I think three to four over par. I think four over par. I'll give myself a shot a hole just because I'm going to have to use this for chipping and putting as well. If I go in a bunker, that could well be good now at Vienna. The second problem, the offset. So yes, it's not got a lot of loft, but it's also got lots of offset. So I can't even open this face up and utilize the loft because then it's just not going to work. It's going to be towed in and very, very difficult to hit anywhere near your target. And problem three, the grip. This grip, I think, is probably older than me, and um, the club's probably older than me as well, actually, but it's very, very slippy. You can see this web being well used for a one iron. This is going to be a bit of an issue today. Look at that. Wow. But I must admit, with the way that first tee shot's gone, I'm full of the hopes and joys of spring. That may well, that may well change very quickly. I think we've got about one, we've got 130 in here. The wind is behind me, as you can tell, with my hood. Play it up that bank. Ooh, just go. Keep going. Tell you what. That's front right on the fringe. If we can play a little bit of a chip, if we can make one par in this video, I will be amazed. I will take that as a huge moral victory. The next hole is a little bit of a kind of difficult par three. And uh, I'm not sure about that. I'd also like to admit, I don't know much about this club. If anyone has any knowledge about this, how old is it? Where is it from? What kind of range is it from? Please get in the comments and let me know, because I have no idea. All I know is it's a toe heel balanced one Carsten iron. Hmm. Doesn't really give much away, does it? So I'd love to say this is what we are left with just on the short right, but it's a little bit shorter than what I anticipated. We're going to have to play a little bit of a bump and run up here but if i can somehow sneak a par here i'll be very very excited it's not really the weather for it either it's a little bit windy and the ground is still a little bit moist if it was drier it might be a touch easier right it's got to break left to right i do like doing challenges like this because it brings out your imagination this is for fun yes it's probably a silly idea but it also brings out your imagination as well thinking about shot selections club selections and what is my percentage shot Like that, for example, hasn't done that bad. It never left the ground. So we have ticked one box already. We have given ourselves a par put. Um, obviously, it is a one club challenge, so we are using the one iron. If we have three par puts in this video and miss them all, it shouldn't be too bad. Back in the stands. Little dink. You know what? We haven't hold one all day, but we have now. <laughs> Get in. We, I've been here all day playing lots of different challenges and fun videos. I've hardly hold a putt. Is this the answer? That is a par. On the opening hole of the challenge, I can't believe it. I guess the next challenge is try and get a birdie, isn't it? I've been playing here for a couple of days now and I've not really hold much. My putting stroke feels terrible. Maybe this is the answer. Guys, we've actually stayed in the lodges here at, at Bentham as well. It's been absolutely wonderful luxury lodges here. They are available for rent or to buy if you do want one. We've had a really, really fun few days. We've come up here to relax and play a bit of golf before the baby comes. I don't know why I'm putting this back in my bag, 
but I feel like after a par, that's the thing to do. Okay, 17th hole, par three, it's measuring 147 yards. You know what, I never actually wanted a par three to be more like 200 yards than I do right now. But again, if we're thinking about shot shaping, I don't wanna hit it too far, there's a road over the green. Positive mental attitude. And there's also my car parked outside the lodge we're staying in. So we really don't wanna be hitting it over there. Right now, I've just properly put myself off. I'm gonna aim up this left side and try and just run it in. The easy thing to do is open the face up. You can't do that with this amount of offset. Oh no, that is not a great start. Maybe I should have opened the face up because that's gone about 50 yards. Wow. Not a great start to this hole. If that was that bad, I'm walking to it. I can see it and I've left the buggy back there. That's how bad that was. I don't think it's going to be two pars in a row. In fairness, I had no idea there was a really big deep pond on the left, so that's good. Come on, bump and run. Go on, go on, don't go in the bunker. Don't go, please don't go in the bunker. Okay, driver, turn left. No, your other left. Not, not that far left. Let's actually just go back to the training center. Turn left. When possible, make a U not gonna lie to you all, I feel like I've massively lowered myself into a false sense of security on that opening hole. Ah, this was always gonna be the problem hole though. Right, massively lucky to miss the bunker. Can we escape with a bogey? Need to get up and down. Not the easiest of tasks. Hit it, hit it! Oh, jeez. Downhill, 20 foot for par for bogey. Brilliant. I've come to terms with I think this could be the least versatile club I've ever used. Ever. Ever, ever. But we do have a 100% mate record on the greens. Go the other way. Go the other way. You know, I've got it down. I feel a bit like Jack Nicholas. Like right, just a little bit. That's a double. It's not a bad double. It's a double. Right, two over par through two. We'll look at it positively. I did say I wanted to shoot three over par, so we can bogey the last. It's not going to be easy. The last is a very difficult golf hole. It might even be two full ones of these, but that could play into our favour. It's just going to take a Hogan-esque one iron to try it out. You know, it actually looks a bit like Merrion's last hole. Very apt, almost like I've planned it. I haven't, I'm not that clever, but almost like I have. Does anyone see what I mean with the resemblance? Maybe a little bit, tiny bit? Anyway, what I need to do first is get the tee shot away. 417 yards, there is a ditch just on the front of the green, ideally maybe a 220 off the tee and then a 200 in. Is that doable? I'm not entirely sure. We are strong downwind now, actually. That might help us just a little bit, just an ounce. Down that left side, open it up to the green down there. Oh, that was telly and horrible. Oh dear. This is now a lot more difficult than what it should have been, because that was the easy bit. And that really hurt my hands. Ow, 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 ow. The only good bit about that shot is it's cart path only and the path's on the left. That's literally it. You know when something starts so well and then just you, the demise happens so quick? I think we can just about get there, but it's gonna mean, it's gonna mean all of it. Best part of well over 200 in, and I don't think we've had much run from that one. I'd love to tell you that my big worry here is the ditch in front of the green. My even bigger worry is the houses on the right and the fact that my wife is driving my own car down the lane to get to the clubhouse to pick me up. I'm going to have to hit this pretty quickly because I'm not sure if my insurance covers me hitting it myself. I'm going to give it a clean though. I'm going to give myself a bit of a chance because a mud wall would be a disaster right now. Oh, 
Oh my God, be good. I've hit the best shot ever. Get up there. Go! Oh, it's just short left. I've played what I can only describe as a scythe across there, and that is way better than stoving it through the sunroof of my pregnant wife driving down the lane. Fantastic. And for anyone interested, that is where the ball has finished short left. I was never really going to get there, not with the swing that I had to kind of put on that to get around the tree and to the green. Probably should give that a clean. Now I must say this is a gorgeous setting, the 18th green here at Bentham Golf Club. We've left ourselves a bit of a pickle because this has to get up this slope to that flag using this loft. Um, and the bank's a little bit wet so I can't imagine it's going to scoot up there that nicely and I can't really open the face up because we discussed that earlier. My only real chance here is try and maybe fire it into the bank, hope it doesn't sort of plug into the bank and release us out to a couple of feet to a hero's welcome from the balcony. That's how it's going in my head. See, you've absolutely nailed that through anything that was ever there. Ah, that was so aggressive. Aggressive. Ugh. I mean, that really does go to show an area of the game that I need to work on a little bit though. Those low lofted chips where you just pick a landing point and hit it. I don't practice those enough. Yes, you're never going to do it with a one iron, but you still need to be better than that. Needed to be able to get that within 20 feet, not 50 or 60. Treat this like a put. A five's a good result. A five is a good result. Turn, turn, turn. Go on. Oh. I've putted exceptionally well with this, I must say. Guys, that is a bogey on the last hole here at Bentham Golf Club. Not a slouch of a hole either. That's three over par for the final three holes. A par, a double, and a bogey using only a ping Carsten heel toe balance one iron guys thank you so much for watching smash that subscribe button i'll see you all at the same time tomorrow goodbye